Nick Matthews was at home in his seafood pavilion, a business that was also his pleasure. It was Nick Matthews who donated the land on which the Yorktown Victory Monument stands today. And so it was fitting that his casket was borne by military pallbearers, that Governor Robb traveled from Richmond for the funeral. It was a grief-stricken Mary Matthews who led her family into the Greek Orthodox Church her husband loved so well. His Grace Athena Goris came to represent the Archbishop of the Greek Orthodox Church in North and South America. He was awestruck, he said, at the more than 500 mourners who ranged from restaurant employees to four-star generals. They all knew Nick Matthews as a friend. Nick knew how to love and how to share as very few. Former Governor John Dalton reminded the mourners that Matthew's widow is made of the same strength of character as her late husband. Matthews died while he and his wife were flying to Pascagoula, Mississippi, where Mary Matthews was to christen the guided missile cruiser Yorktown. Despite her husband's sudden death, she did what she went there to do. If I could have picked one Virginian to receive a patriotism award, I'm certain it would have been Nick Matthews. Two hours later, when the eulogies were finished, the mourners filed past the coffin, the Greek Orthodox faithful kneeling to kiss the icon that Nick Matthews will carry with him to his grave. It was hard for Mary Matthews to say goodbye. Nick Matthews would have been buried today, but plans for his interment are not yet complete. One thing is certain, though. One of this country's favorite adopted sons will rest on the land he donated to the state in the shadow of his dream come true. In Newport News, Kathy Midkiff, The Daily News.